owner, John Mayer, has said of his team, quote, if they fall in love with the quarterback that they believe is worth the number six pick or moving up, he would certainly support that. Here's what's crazy, though, Shady. Yeah. They just paid Daniel Jones. Andy Dobbs. Literally, yesterday. They just paid him. Okay. And now they already talking about moving off of him. Is it time for the Giants to give up on DJ? Is it time? What are we talking about? We talking? He should never have had a time. He should never have had a clock, never had a watch. <laughs> He's not that good of a player. Mm. When, I, when, I, when I seriously say this, man, people think I'm crazy, but I would never in my life go to Duke to go get a football player. Mm. I would never go to Duke to get a quarterback. Yeah. You got basketball, anything is possible. Grand Hill, you got a lot of guys. Duke for football? Why? Who does that? So then even when we watched him over the years look average, look a, uh, I couldn't even say average. Some years, he, some years he didn't look average. Yeah. At his best, a little bit above average. Yeah. And then we go to game on money, we go to get pain. It's crazy. I think we have a guy like Brian Dayball, anything is possible because he's that smart of a coach. I watched him take Josh Allen, who's super talented, to a whole nother level. So I understand it. Mm -hmm. But this guy, man, everybody that we watched come in there as a backup outplayed this dude. Yeah. So when you ask me, is it his time? It's it, it been over, right? I want to get this dude a, a dollar, maybe some Snickers and a, <laughs> some fries, but come on, man. A contract? What is, um, what's the main goal in the National Football League? What are we trying to accomplish? First of all, to be a good player. That's just the first thing. That's the first thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, let thing. your mother and dad be proud of you, second, though. Second thing, they said, okay, we believe you are a good player, so we gave you this money, Shady. Yeah, that's Even, facts. You know what I mean? So that's, that's, at least that's what they saying, right? So you, looking in the mirror, think you're good, and the Giants think you're good. But the ultimate goal is to win a championship. True. Bang. You're not winning a championship with Daniel Jones, period. If you gave up on Mac Jones, if you gave up on Justin Fields, it's time to give up on Daniel Jones, period. I mean, so my main thing is, is go into this draft, get you a quarterback that you think you can develop and can help you win a championship. What we've seen from Daniel Jones over his career, he is not winning you a championship. His best year that we all bragged about that he got paid on, they won nine games. So Daniel Jones is not the type of quarterback that is going to take you to a Super Bowl. It's time to move on and go find your young Question for both of y'all, though. Fellas, 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 let's talk real. We got the viewers watching. Y'all spending y'all day with us, so let me ask the athletes these important questions. The Giants don't have talent on offense. Mm. You don't have Saquon. A wide receiver, you don't have anybody that you can get crazy happy about. You drafted Hyatt last year. I believe you still have Shepard. I believe you still have Slayton, but nobody that's scaring defenses. True. So you need a lot, Shady. You got the sixth overall pick. That is true. You know what you could get for that sixth overall pick? Because mm -hmm. the Raiders, they need that sixth overall pick. That is true. The Vikings, they need that sixth overall pick. You got the sixth overall pick. Should you move out of it? Hey, you know what? We'll keep DJ for one more year. Mm. Let's, 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 let's load up on picks. Let me go draft a receiver. It's a heavy receiver <laughs> class. Yep, yep. Let me see if I can now maybe go draft a running back in the second or the third. Or do you draft a quarterback at number six, knowing it's not Caleb, mm -hmm. it's probably not Jaden Daniels, and it's probably not Drake May? What you doing, 2-5? What you doing? It's a tough one, man. I hate to be the Giants, right? You gave up your best player to the Eagles, your rivals, which I'm happy and thankful for that. I mean, but like, nobody's gonna knock on the door and ask for a Dame Jones. Nobody's, nobody wants him, right? So now you're asking, what do you do? So you're saying, keep that pick or trade it and trade maybe it back. Get... But everything you talked about, how the Giants are not that talented team, they don't have that much on offense, not wide receivers, they don't have that much in the, in the running backs now. But even saying all that, mm -hmm. he's still your worst position. Mm. So when you ask this question, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> they don't know. No, that, that's a really good question because basically what you're saying is with Daniel Jones, without Daniel Jones, you ain't Jones going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I would trade out of it. What can I get for this number six pick? How many first rounders can I get for this number six pick to build my roster? And then maybe I could put together a really good roster and then draft me a quarterback next year and let Daniel Jones play. But we got to understand, too, Daniel Jones is coming off of an ACL injury. Mm. And he's a runner. I mean, Man, who did they that. sign behind him? Drew, Drew Locke. Locke. Yeah. So it ain't even necessarily saying that he going to start this thing starting. So for me, I understand what you're saying. If I could get some really good value for that number six pick to be able to Put some good players and on my football team. Pick. There's some value in that. Oh, yeah, 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 but that's one this player. Year. Oh, you're talking about trade. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would, I would yeah. trade and try to get some more players. So now, if I have a young quarterback coming in here, or if I can go into free agency next year, knowing that I got a solid roster, get me a free so agent put, quarterback my, and put him on a good my team. My only question I want to ask, my, my pushback is, so let's say you trade this six pick to get more talent. That means you got to play with him as your quarterback? Yeah. Like, you just do doomed for the... And then another thing is, 
I, I learned this about playing a game, right? Coaches and GMs, ownership, they have their own way of thinking, right? But they always come to some of the veterans to see what's the vibe in the locker room. Because they don't know. They, yeah. they ain't out there. They, they, they ain't not texting. They're not in the, the locker room like we were just yeah. talking. They don't know that. So they ask guys like myself or, or Mahomes or what's, what's the vibe in there? And I'm saying, I'm going to tell you the truth, coach. They pissed off. Why they pissed off? Well, you decide to pay Daniel Jones from Duke, who's not good, and most players from Duke aren't that good. You, you decide not to pay our best player, our best office player, the Saquon Barkley, so guys are upset. Mm -hmm. So guys like, how can we win if he's our quarterback? Because you're telling the players yeah. in the locker room that, why should we take it serious yeah. and come on practice and practice hard, be on time, study hard for the games when y'all don't care enough to put the but right players they, to win? They're showing you they're not taking it that serious. But, but that's what I'm saying. As a player, when the mm -hmm. coaches make decisions like paying Daniel Jones, like making him the starter, like making him a captain, yeah. you're saying, you know what? I shouldn't care about this league because y'all don't care about this so, team. So my thing is, is you just signed Burns. You mm -hmm. traded and you signed Burns. That's a great Burns. move. You got move. Tip That's a great move. On the other side. Yep. Big move. Right? Dexter Lawrence. All on deal. defense, so but keep going. Me, you got some solid pieces on the defensive side. What's Big Dog in the middle? Dexter Lawrence. Dexter right. Lawrence. He's a hell of a middle. player. So that's a solid defensive line. Okay. So now let's try to go. I would trade the six pick. Let's go try to build this defense up. Let's, let's, let's play through our defense. We know our quarterback ain't that good, right? But let's go trade that pick, get some more picks, try to build this defense up. We lost our safety uh, to the Packers. Yeah, 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 you yeah. know, so let's go build on this defense. And then next year, we got some pieces. Let's go but draft if our But that was the move, and I, I love what you just said, but you doing all that with the defense, what goes, what goes great with a defense and a bad quarterback? Yeah, run game. A run game. Yeah. And what did y'all just do? Let the running back go. And he came where? Drive one. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it's like, the, the, the formula you trying to run, you're not doing yeah, it. Yeah, y'all not even doing that. You know what? Call me. Because Joe, my man. So, I, I'm so in Buffalo. You, so you tell us. You played for the coach. You played yeah, for Dave Ball. GM. You tell us what Dave Ball's uh, thinking. Uh, Buffalo, too. Like, Dave Ball had Josh Allen. So for him to come over here, and you a big fan of Dave Ball, to think that Daniel Jones is the guy, what do you think he's thinking You know what right it was? Now? I know he didn't like um, uh, Danny Dons. I know he didn't like him. I know it from, for sure. Not because he told me this, but this, I know how good he is. The kid, the kid can't play. But when he has some success with him, Brian Dayball is a, is a, is a confident coach. Yeah. And he should because he's really, really good. And I, the things he's done, done with Josh Allen, the things he's done with some of the backups, I'm like, oh, wow. Even Ty Taylor. I thought he was good, but he looked way better with Dayball. So Dayball, his mind, he can change anybody. And I think with coaches, good coaches, they always think Andy Reid's another one like that. I don't care who you bring me. He's going to be better with me than with anybody else. I think we had Daniel Jones, and they went to the playoffs, and they had a successful year, and they won with that talent. He said, I could do this another time, another time. But Daniel Jones is real awful. Can't do that with him. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.